guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Kotobukiya Star Wars Artifacts Plus C3PO and R2D2. We're moving right along with a look at the newest Artifacts Plus statues from Kotobukiya Star Wars line. And today we're going to take a look at the two droids that appeared in all six Star Wars movies. The famous C3PO and R2D2. Now the two droids come packaged in the same style Artifacts Plus packaging that all the other Kotobukiya products have come in so far. It's just a nice solid black box depicting the two characters right there on the front. And then the back of the box gives us a little bit of a look at some of the different display options that C-3PO and R2-D2 are both capable of, which we're going to take a closer look at in just a second. Alright, so let's take a closer look at C-3PO and R2-D2 here. Now, just like with all of the other Artifacts Plus statues in this line, they do use the snap together model type feature. They are mini statues, but you do have to put them together a little bit. They come in the package completely unassembled, and you can see that the parts just pop right off of the figure. So, you have your C-3PO here. He has small plugs all throughout the body, so you just plug his torso onto the legs. The arms snap into socket, and the head snaps right into place and it's that easy. It's a very nice tight fit and the cool thing about the C-3PO here is he actually does have a little bit of articulation going on which actually helps you with some of the different posing options. His arms are able to move both up and down and you can even turn his head from side to side. So it's actually pretty nice having the different little articulation points on there because it's going to allow you to pose the statue in a few different styles. Now the same thing with R2-D2, you do have to put them together. The legs do pop in and out. And it's cool too, because the way this works here is there is a special way that you have to clip these in. So you can see that the sockets are lined up on the legs there, so that there's only two different ways you can actually fit them in. So the first way, they snap in leaned back with the third leg extended, so that way you can have R2-D2 ready to roll around. Now if you'd rather display R2-D2 standing straight up, you can actually remove the middle leg by twisting and pulling out. And you actually have this little replacement piece which actually plugs right onto the bottom in its place. That way it looks like the third leg is up inside R2-D2, like it's stowed away. And then you can pop those side legs out and pop them into the standard position instead. That way we have R2-D2 just standing straight up and down on two legs. And the dome piece is also an articulated piece, so that way you can have his dome turning left and right and facing any different way you want to to have him displayed in different ways. So it's kind of cool. A lot of the Artifacts Plus statues, like the Stormtroopers and such that we've looked at, had alternate legs and arms and stuff like that to get the different style poses out of them. These guys here don't really come with a lot of extra limbs, but they do have those articulation points, so it still gives you some different display options, which is really cool. Now, both of the figures do come with the standard magnetic square black bases that all the Artifacts Plus statues come with. There's one for each of the figures here. And you can see that they do have little magnets that are in the bottoms of the feet on both R2-D2 and C-3PO. That way they just kind of clasp right onto the bases there. It works really nice instead of having pegs because that way you can display the C-3PO and the R2-D2 statues any way you want to on the bases. You can have them crossed over on bases to get them closer to each other. In fact, these two guys work pretty well just on one base. You almost don't even need the second one. They work pretty good just having them standing right next to each other, posing with you know C-3PO's arm up on R2-D2's dome. They work really great on one base. But you do have the two bases, that way if you want to display them separately, you can. And like I said, they, they grasp on pretty tight. It's not like a real tight lock, so it's not like I can pick up the base, but you can see it locks on there nice and solid, so you don't have to worry about them falling over or anything like that. It holds them up really good. Now one cool thing I really like about these is the detail. The detailing on these two are absolutely incredible. In fact, I think these two might be among some of my favorites of the Artifacts Plus line so far, just because of how good they look. C-3PO is very shiny as you can see. He uses a really cool metallic look to really model the, the look of the character right from the film. He's even got the one silver leg on the right 
and then the rest of the body is a very shiny gold. Now he's actually really lightweight because of the material that he's made out of, but he still feels really nice and he's built really solidly. And the detailing on them is really incredible. For this being like a vac metalized finish, it's really surprising to see the amount of detail that is put into all the little knobs and everything. The hands specifically look pretty amazing. It's kind of hard to see it up close, but all the little details like the rods and the gears and you can see the black on the bottom of his hands there and all the wiring in his stomach. Everything looks terrific. And it's really cool because they were, Kotobuki was able to capture an awesome stance. It looks just like one of Anthony Daniels' mannerisms as C-3PO. And even just moving the arms around in different poses, you get all of these great C-3PO style poses out of them. It's really incredible. Now he does actually feature one interchangeable hand. Uh, the right hand can pop out and you can put in this slightly uh, bent hand. It's, it's good for, uh, like you wanna get yourself a nice little waving pose here. It's also really good for resting right on top of R2-D2's dome there for that nice classic pose, so that's really cool. And another added bonus is this tiny little comlink piece. It's real small, so you gotta be real careful not to lose this, but this is pretty neat because it actually clips right in his fingers between his index finger and his thumb and that way you can recreate the scene from A New Hope where C-3PO is hollering in this comlink at Luke Skywalker. So I thought that was a really cool touch and definitely something that helps to add to your display a little bit. Now both of these figures, like I said, these are among my favorites of the Artifacts Plus stuff so far. The Artifacts Plus line has been absolutely incredible, but these two really take the cake for me as far as their overall look, the appearance, the sculpt, everything about these just looks really cool. It looks as if they leapt right off the Star Wars screen and into this miniaturized form to display right there on your shelf. It is a very cool set and a very welcome addition to my Star Wars collection. Kotobukiya has these awesome statues available, and if you want to know more information, you can check them out at www.kotous.com, and you can follow them on Facebook, facebook.com slash Until next time.